Uh, my name is Timo, and uh, we would like to show you a project called Memopol. Uh, let's talk about back background first, and then uh, let's see how the machine works. Next slide, please. Mm, we come from Estonia, and Estonia is a little uh, country in northeast Europe, and uh, we have uh, developed a lot of uh, governmental IT applications. And uh, this uh, installation is about them. And Mo uh, will talk about uh, these uh, government IT applications. Next. Next slide. So this is our national ID card that uh, we have had over 10 years now. Uh, in essence, it's a smart card that uh, has some encryption keys that are signed by the national government certificate agency. So it enables authentication and digital signing. The next slide, please. So over the years, our government agencies have set up different databases, collecting information needed for the operation. For example, driver licenses, different kind of permits, income tax, etc. So to en enable this uh, cross-communication between these databases, there was this framework called XT or X-Road that established so that uh, provides this backbone of uh, services and the information movement between. But uh, this uh, network is really closed down. It's really hard to get uh, a normal citizen to uh, get access to, to these uh, services. Next slide, please. So uh, as a means for an ordinary citizen to access these databases and uh, uh, services, a web portal called ASTA or Estonia.e uh, was established. It tries to be a central place through which all citizen state communication could go. And after authenticating with your ID card, you, you can have uh, access to the all information that the government has on you in different databases. Even though the government has tried to promote this portal, it's relatively unknown in the common public. Uh, most people still don't have a clue what information the government has about them, and they don't know that they have a way and the right to access this information. Next slide, please. Uh, so in 2010, there was a need to reflect on these fast developments, and the idea of Memopol came alive. The concept was to turn around the positive image of e-government and present the same data seen in government portal from another perspective. Uh, when the government portal uses nice, green, happy, and friendly aesthetics, Memopol was meant to be the opposite, big, scary, noisy, and evil. The machine has a smart card reader and a pin pad. When the user inserts his uh, personal document to the machine and enters pin code, it starts collecting data from the databases through government portal and also from other sites like Google and Facebook. After collect collecting the data, it's analyzed and computed into animation. Next slide, please. Mm, this is the second version of the machine. And this also included a scanner for international passports and other ID cards. Uh, with them, the level of data is of course smaller as it uh, can access only public information. But it's, uh, it, it still enables to generate the kind of uh, information sphere about the person. You can see the machine in action on the website. Uh, just talking about privacy might seem abstract to regular public, but providing the way to experience the invasion of it personally might alter some views. Next slide, please. Extend time. Uh, here are some examples of data presented on the screen. It displays medical prescription drugs for, from health uh, system, you can see your high school exams in the center. Uh, there is a tax uh, database that you can calculate uh, incomes and Facebook and Google widgets. Mm, next slide, please. So in uh, next year, there will be a uh, Memopol 3 in Germany. And the plan is to include German ID card in the system as well. So, uh, uh, to uh, access this, uh, this card, uh, we need the local knowledge. So if there are some people who have been doing some things with it, it would be nice to meet you and maybe talk about it. Next slide, please. Four, three, Thank you.